Hey, this is James Villapeg. I'm your host at TopFellowsTrainer.com. We have another strength-based burst bout for you today. Let's get right into this. We're going to set our gym boss times to 35 seconds of work and only 7 seconds of rest. We're doing our resistance training today. I'm going to run down the list real quick and you can see it below. If you'd like to print it out, bring it down to your, into your uh, living room or bring it to the gym or however you want to handle it. The first exercise is overhanded bent over row for the back muscles. Then we'll go to an inclined chest press for the chest, upper pecs especially. Stationary lunges left leg. Then we're going to go to a bench leg lift for the abdominals. Then we'll go to the right leg for stationary lunges. Then an underhand bench over row, just a slightly different angle for the back. Then an inclined chest fly, again for the chest. Then we're going to go to an underhand skull crusher for the triceps. Then we'll go to a two-arm shoulder press, sit, sit, I'm sorry, sitting down and just pressing up. And then we're going to go to a straight arm pullover. Then you'll have a one minute rest. I want you to perform four total bouts, which is going to run you 30 minutes. And that's not bad at all for a strength training workout. So this is a great workout for you, so especially it's, it, beach season's coming on. We want to put on some lean muscle, deplete the body fat. And uh, this is the way to go. So let's jump right into this. 35 seconds work, 7 seconds rest. First exercise, overhand bent over row in 3, 2, 1. Feet hip width apart. Bend over the hips, overhand. Drive the elbows up and back. Focus on those back muscles. Nice constant pace, no rest at the bottom, no rest at the top. Nice stretch at the bottom. Really squeeze those back muscles. Seconds rest. Next exercise is incline chest press. Here we go. Go right to it. Arms up, flat on the floor. Chest nice and high. Okay, you have seven seconds rest. Next exercise is stationary lunges. Left leg. Here we go. Pick your dumbbells. Only focusing on the left leg. Keep on stepping out. Chest out, shoulders back. This is not easy. Especially all 35 seconds is dedicated to that left leg. Step out far enough. Roll heel to toe. Front leg does all the work. Left leg does all the work. Right leg is just to pivot and balance. Okay, you got your seven seconds rest. Look at your exercise list. Next exercise, bench leg lift. Here we go. You want to quickly do your setting. Get right into it. Hold on to the sides. Bring your legs up in an arc. I don't want you to just come in like that. I want you to come up on an arc from the hips. Focus on those abs right now. Okay, quickly. Seven seconds rest. Here we go. All right leg now. Left leg pivots. Step out far enough. Roll heel to toe. Front leg, right leg does all the work. Control it. Come in slow, slow it out. Okay? Seven seconds rest. Next exercise, underhand bent over row. Here we go. Same thing, feet hip width apart, now underhand. Drive those elbows up, up and back. Focus on those back muscles. Focus on that back. Okay, seven seconds rest, then we go a chest fly, incline chest fly. Here we go. Sit back, only moving from the shoulders. Nice stretch, and contract the chest part of the top. Exhale as you drive the dumbbells toward one another. Control it, no rest at the bottom, no rest at the top. Exhale as you drive. 
you seven seconds. Underhand skull crusher. Just want to quickly set the bench. Three, two, one. Now watch this. Underhand, look at that. Full extension of those elbows. Control as you're coming down. Good thing about this is that because the dumbbells are separated, you can't hit your forehead. That's why they call this a skull crusher, because most people use it with either a cambered curled bar or a straight barbell. I like the fact that both arms have to work equally, and you know if one's weaker or stronger than the other. Control them. Okay. Come down. Seven seconds. Okay. Two arm shoulder press. You're going to simply sit on the edge of the bench. I like to pop dumbbells on my legs, pick up my legs, and simply press up. Give you a slight little bit of an angle. Watch your posture. You want to have your chest out, shoulders back, shoulders relaxed though. You don't want them shrugging up, abs nice and tight. Nice, nice constant motion. Focus on stimulating the muscle fibers of the shoulder. Exhale as you draw the dumbbells up. Back of the arms come down parallel to the ground. You don't have to go any lower than that. Seven seconds. Okay. Last exercise is a straight arm pullover. So you're going to grab one dumbbell on the power block, so I like the back because it has two handles. And you're focusing on the back right now. Hips up, arms straight, only moving from the shoulder. Let the back muscles bring the dumbbell back up overhead. Nice stretch at the bottom. Exhale and drive the dumbbell up overhead. Nice stretch. No rest at the top. No rest at the bottom. The only thing I want you to do is contract. Consciously contract the back muscles at the top. If you don't know exactly what that feels like, feel the muscles that are being stimulated right now and you'll gain a better idea. Constant motion, constant tension on those back muscles. You're also going to feel this in the triceps, back of the arms. Okay, hop up easily. Be careful getting up so you don't slip, especially if you're sweaty like me. Okay, that was one bout. Again, you're going to be performing four total dots of this, which is going to run you 30 minutes on the dot. This is, you know, this type of burst bout, we've done these before, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. So you want to pick your weights appropriately based on the particular muscle that we're training and make sure that you're not going too easy on yourself. You don't want to go too heavy where you're not able to, you know, um, lift that particular weight for the duration of the work time, but you don't want to go too light where you're basically going through the motions. That's the key. So you need to go on that discovery to see what weights are appropriate for each exercise and each muscle group. I am James Villapeg, your host with TopFatLossTrainer.com. We will see you here tomorrow for tomorrow's Cardio Based Burst Thanks, guys.